Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concept. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about custom film. Now I'm sure you've probably seen some of our other videos, but we wanted to go ahead and go into a little bit more detail on the custom film in helping diagnose different problems that you may encounter when using the Liquid Concepts custom printed film for the hydrographic. So without further ado, let's get started. So whenever you're looking at a custom film, inevitably you can print anything that you want. So you can have full color prints, like this right here. You can even have full prints like this, or you can even have prints like this right here. Now, the one thing to remember about a print like this is that it does have a lot of open area. Now, this one doesn't have a lot, but it does still have some open area, which is going to be clear, which is going to be the white after you dip it. Now, a couple of things to remind yourself about the open areas like these right here is that if you have a lot of open area, you may need to adjust your time down because it may not activate and work the exact same way as what it will with like a fully printed pattern in maybe something like this right here. So definitely keep that in mind whenever you have your custom film. So we'll go ahead and lay the film down into the water. Now again, we've got our timer set for a minute 30, but a couple of things to remember whenever you are looking at patterns that do have some areas of open patterns is that sometimes you may have to shorten the time down because of all of the openness in the film because it's starting to actually deteriorate or break down faster and it will start to of course blow out so you definitely always want to make sure that you're watching the film all the time to make sure that you know when to activate it because sometimes it may be at maybe a minute 15 other times it may be at a minute 30 and you can even go even up or down from that depending on what the film is looking like whenever you're watching it on the water. So we're right at a minute 30 here and you can see how right in here we are actually starting to break up the pattern and you can see the pattern actually moving out right in through here now again with this pattern it's not as bad but you can still see the lines that we're starting to get because of all of the open areas that are in here so in a case like this we may need to drop the, the soak time down even further because of that and you can clearly see here we've got some areas where it's starting to rip apart and tear and so so that way of course now it's not going to be as usable because it does have all of these breakup areas that are starting to occur while it's sitting on the water all right so for our next troubleshooting point one thing that we see a lot of that can really hurt the film and the way that you're dipping is whenever you're not containing the film and so let's go ahead we'll start our timer here so that way we know where we're at with this particular pattern but you always want to make sure that you contain the film as much as possible because if you don't then what's going to happen is, is that film is going to want to start to break up and then it is just going to pretty much separate all around and so this can be even done before it is ready to be activated so keeping that film contained whether it be with a good divider system like this right here or with the tape is very very critical to make sure that everything stays together and the print looks as amazing as what it should so we still have 30 seconds left on the on the soak time itself and you can already see that we're starting to blow out right in this little area right here the film is already starting to move quite a bit and so we can move this back over here but you can see that it is already starting to just float off and of course break apart so definitely make sure that you keep that film contained as much as possible because you can even see it starting to break apart right in through here now we're ready to of course dip but we've already got our film breaking apart completely and you can even see right in through here it is pretty much tearing apart and of course now this film is not usable at all because if i pull this over just like this it literally has split down in two just like what i was saying a little bit earlier with that open area that we have you can clearly see that the film is just breaking apart into nothing so keeping that film contained is definitely going to be the best thing that you can do to make sure that you get a good dip so for the next point that we wanted to cover is going to be the film activation itself 
And so this is going to be really critical whenever you are dipping your part because of course, as you probably already know, if you do not have your activator set right or it's not fully activated, then of course the film is not going to dip correctly. So we've got our film on the water here. We've got it set for the minute 20, which we found out a little bit earlier that we needed to drop the soak time. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you two different cases. One case is we're going to spray the activator and then we're going to dip instantly right afterwards. Now, a couple of things that you'll notice is that you will not have a fully glassed out look and it will not wrap around the object. The second time that we're gonna do it, you'll see a totally different result. So let's start with the first one. So now that we've got this already sprayed, we're gonna dip this instantly. And what you're gonna notice is, is that it's still acting like paper going down into the water. Now, again, we do not have a really glassed out look, but it is stretching, but it's still as it's stretching, it's still got a lot of wrinkles all the way around into the pattern, which is not what we want. We can see we've got a lot of excess all through here, not that great a coverage all in here. And as you saw, it wrinkled more like paper. All right, so we saw what happens whenever you dip immediately after the activator. So let's go ahead. We're going to soak this the exact same time. We're going to spray the activator, but this time we're actually going to let the activator dwell on top of the film and that way it can have time to soak into the inks that are printed. And so that's gonna really help us out because then we're going to see a lot smoother dip and we're going to see a lot better activation overall. So let's go ahead and let this sit. We'll spray it with the activator and show you guys the end result. All right, so now that we've got this sprayed, we're gonna go ahead and let this sit. Now, you'll notice as it's sitting over time, if it's applied with enough activator, the surface of this pattern will completely glass out smooth and it'll look a lot better. Normally, this, the dwell time for the activator is gonna be approximately about 30 seconds in. And so now you can clearly see that we've got a really good glassed out view all the way around. And so you can see here, we've got a really great view. So now let's go ahead and dip my hand again, and you'll see a lot better results to where it's not going to be pulling like paper going down into the water. So you can see here, clearly it is wrapping a lot better. We have little to no pull, just like the paper, and it is stretching a lot better all the way around. And so now, as we're going down into the water, the stretch is going to look a lot better. That's going to look a lot better. We don't have all of those folded over edges like what we had before. And we got full coverage all the way around right here. We got a really good stretch coming all the way down. So that would have been a lot better dip all because we let the activator dwell on the film before we went ahead and dipped it. Hopefully this video has really helped you guys out. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything that you've got, especially if you're having trouble with the custom film, we're always here to help. Also, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips on anything hydrographics related. Don't forget to check out the website. It has everything that you need for the hydrographics, including tanks, training, film, custom film, like what we've been playing with, and anything else for the hydrographics. It is all right there. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.